In your health headlines, a lot of people prescribe to taking a daily baby aspirin to help prevent heart disease, but as harmless as it sounds, it's a therapy that is not for everyone. Dr. Mitchell Goldman with UCSD is here as he is every Tuesday to talk about some of these risks and benefits. Thanks for being here, Dr. G. It's always good to be here, Kathleen. Now we are talking about this daily aspirin therapy, a distinction between adult aspirin and baby aspirin. What's the importance there? The importance is that most baby aspirin, which is just 81 milligrams a day, has been touted as being heart healthy. And you can even look on the aspirin bottles and it says healthy for your heart. Well, a new study that was published in this week's Journal of the American Medical Association shows that really the only evidence that baby aspirin is really healthy is in men and women between 50 and 59 years old who have problems with their heart or where they where they have either had a heart attack or they have stents in their heart or they have actual heart disease. That's a pretty narrow window. So is it actually harmful to people who don't fall into that category? You know, Kathleen, it really is. You know, some other benefits of baby aspirin has been to minimize uh, the risk of colon cancer and pancreatic cancer. And so I was actually taking baby aspirin for about 15 years. And then last year, I actually developed a GI bleed or a bleed like a gastric ulcer. And when I was riding my bicycle, I actually thought I was going to have a heart attack and it turned out that I had lost half my blood volume and needed transfusions. And so that's what woke me up to the fact that taking a baby aspirin every day may not be for everyone. And you're a physician, so if it can happen to you, it certainly can happen to any of us who haven't studied these things. So tell me what are some of these harmful side effects that can happen to people who really shouldn't be taking a daily baby aspirin? Well, the real harmful side effect is bleeding. And so if you have gastric reflux or a gastric ulcer, even if you're taking antacids or some other drugs like Nexian, it can still cause a problem. Also, it, if you have a propensity to strokes, it can actually make those worse by causing a bleed. And of course, if you have an allergy of aspirin, which is really rare. The key thing is if you have a gastric bleed. So if you find that you're becoming anemic and you're just more run down, that's when you really need to see your doctor. You know, taking a baby aspirin, if you need to, is very important, but it really should be done with your doctor's advice. And what my cardiologist said is, you know, if you just take a salmon oil pill or eat salmon and cold fish, you know, a few times a week, that's probably just as good for protecting your heart as is taking a baby aspirin. And Dr. G, this sounds like a relatively new discovery, a, a new study. So what are the questions that patients should be asking their doctors if they're not really up to speed on this information just yet? Well, again, if you have a risk for heart attack and if your doctor says, look, you've had a heart stent, you need to take a baby aspirin, you need to take one. But if you're just going down the supermarket aisle and you see baby aspirin and you see like a heart on it saying heart health and you've heard things that maybe taking baby aspirin is going to be good for you, you really need to discuss this with your doctor. You need to make sure that you're not at risk for other problems like I had as a doctor, which was a GI bleed. Yeah, you could be inviting a whole new slew of problems. Our Dr. G, every Tuesday you're here and we sure appreciate your time. And I'm healthy now. <laughs> That's good news for sure. Clean bill of health. Thanks.